Hello and welcome. In this second episode, we'll be looking at colour in television. In our last episode, we looked at the equipment we were going to use and talked a little about the signal. The basics of colour in television is that it is made up of three primary colours, red, green and blue. And when mixed in a specific way, these colours make white. Most camcorders are designed so that white comes out as one volt. Of this one volt, 0.3 volts is made up of red. 0.59 volts is made up of green and 0.11 volts blue. By adding or subtracting these colours, we get different colours. Let's have a look at that. Here you see a colour bar pattern going from white to black. By removing different colours, such as blue, red, both red and blue, and so on, we can make up the different colours seen here. The colour signal includes three parts. Luminance, which is the brightness of the colour. The hue, which is the shading of the colour. And the saturation, which is the intensity of the colour. If we were to remove, say, the chrominance, we would get a black and white or grayscaled image, like so. As we can see, without the chrominance, we get an approximation of each colour from white to black. This is done because we know the brightness and the intensity of the colour. This was included as part of the PAL broadcasting system to make it compatible with black and white TVs that were around during the first days of the PAL system. For more information on PAL, have a look at our website. When broadcasting with colour, there's a lot of information in the signal, which would require a lot of processing at both the transmitting end and the receiving end. To minimise the amount of information needed to be transmitted, developers looked to the human eye. They found that although the human eye is very good at detecting changes in brightness, it isn't very good at picking up changes in colour. We can show that through a simple experiment. I've returned to the colour bar pattern that we saw earlier. If I was to say increase or decrease the colour, like so, I would have to do like a great change before the changes in the human eye would be apparent. Whereas, if I was to change the brightness, we would notice pretty quickly with only minor changes. This information can also be seen on the waveform monitor. As we increase the colour information, we can see the information increasing bolt wise as we increase the colour and reducing as we remove it. If we'll also look at it for the brightness we can see that the levels go up and down as well. So that concludes our overview of colour and TV. To look into this subject in greater detail, please look to our website for more information and look 
out for future releases. Until next time.